given g of x is equal to 8x plus 2, find g of 0, g of negative 5, and g of 2x plus 3. So all this is when they say g of x is equal to 8x plus 2, this is a function definition. They're saying you give me any x and you input it into my function g, and my function g will output, it will associate with that number x, another number that happens to be 8x plus 2. This is one way to create an association. It's going to associate, if you were to put, if you were to put 1 here, if this x is 1, you're going to do 8 times 1 plus 2. So you would associate 1 through g. You would associate 1 with 8 times 1 plus 2, which is 10. So it's just another way of creating association that you could do with sets of ordered pairs or you could do it graphically. But this is one of the most typical ways that you'll see a function defined. It says, look, input an x over here, and I'm going to output 8x plus 2. So with that out of the way, let's think about what g of 0 is. g of 0 literally just means we're inputting 0 into this function. And this function says, whatever you're inputting, I'm going to output 8 times that plus 2. So g of 0 is going to be, and let me write it this way so it becomes clear what I'm doing. g of 0 is going to be 8 times 0, 8 times 0, 8 times 0 plus 2, plus, plus 2. So wherever we saw the x, we replaced it with whatever we're inputting. That is our x in this situation right over here. And so this is equal to. 8 times 0 plus 2 is just equal to 2. So g of 0 is equal to 2. Let me just write that here. g of 0 is equal to 2. Now let's try g of negative 5. So let me write it this way. g of, I'll write g of negative 5 is equal to, and I'll try to do the color coding a little bit better this time. It's going to be equal to 8 times our x, which in this case is negative 5. 8 times negative 5 plus 2. 8 times negative 5 plus 2. We're inputting x, we're inputting a negative 5, and we're going to output 8 times negative 5 plus 2. Wherever we saw the x, we just replaced it with a negative 5. And this is just equal to 8 times negative 5 is negative 40 plus 2 is equal to negative 38. So I'll write this over here on the right. We have g of negative 5 is equal to negative 38. Now, this last one is a little bit interesting. So we just did this one. Now let's do g of g of 2x plus 3. So now they're not inputting a number. They're inputting an expression. And what we have to do is everywhere where we see x here, we're going to replace it with that expression. If I did g of a circle, let me write this down. If I did g of an orange circle, an orange circle right over here. By this function definition, by this function definition, if I'm inputting an orange circle, I should output an orange circle eight times the orange circle, eight times the orange circle, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but hopefully you get the idea that whatever you're inputting, you're just going to multiply it times eight and add two. So if we input two x plus three, we're going to output this times eight plus two. Wherever we see an x, we replace it with this right over here. So let's try that out. So now we have g of 2x plus 3, g of 2x plus 3 is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to 8 times whatever we're inputting, 8 times whatever we're inputting plus 2. If we're inputting an orange, if this was an orange, we'd put an orange here. If this is a negative 5, we'd put a negative 5 here. If this is a 0, we'd put a 0 here. In this case, we're inputting 2x plus 3 into our function. So we put 2x plus 3 where the x is right over there. So 2x plus 3. Whatever we input, this function says multiply it by 8 and add 2. We're inputting 2x plus 3, multiply it by 8, and then add 2. And so this is going to be equal to, we just distribute the 8. We just distribute the 8, and you get 16x plus 24. And you still have this plus 2 out over here. You still have this plus 2 out of over here. So this is going to be equal to 16x. 16x plus these two, you add them up, you get 26. So we can write over here, and I'll do that same color since to be consistent. We have g of 2x plus 3 is equal to 16x plus 26, and we're done. I know it can be confusing because you're inputting, you're replacing x with something that has x in it. But you really should just view this as if this was an orange ball or a star, or even if this had y's in it. Wherever you see an x, you replace it with 
whatever you are inputting it. So what we were, in every instance, we replace the x with 2x plus 3.